Hey guys, today's data science interview question comes from Yelp. The question is, find the business and review text that received the highest number of cool votes. I'll put the business name along with the review text itself. So the first thing I'd like to do is take a look at the underlying data. We get something that looks like this. So if you look at the column names, you have the business name. You have the review text right here, which is what we want to output in our answer. And then what we're trying to do is find the businesses where there is the most cool votes, the businesses that have the most cool votes, right? So if I just kind of scroll down, I'll see that most of the businesses have zero. There's a few that have two, but there's probably in the data set um, businesses that have many, many cool votes. So there's an assumption to this question here. There could be multiple businesses with max cool votes, right? There could be a tie across multiple businesses. And so what we want to do is ensure that we capture all of those businesses. A lot of people will do an order by and then a limit one, which gives you like the top business with the most cool votes. But in this case, you can have multiple businesses with uh, the same number of cool votes. So the control for that, we'll just use an inner join and I'll show you how to do that. So what I wanna write first is that the assumption that we're gonna be working with is that there could be multiple businesses with the same number of cool votes, right? Uh, so there could be multiple businesses with the max cool votes. So we're gonna use an inner join to filter out businesses that don't have the max number of cool votes, right? Um, and in this case, we'll actually be using a subquery to identify the max number of cool votes first. This should actually be here because that is the first step we're going to do and then we're going to use an inner join after that. So to identify the maximum number of cool votes in our data set, this is the SQL query that we're going to implement. All right, so it's, it's as simple as this. If we run this code here, we're going to see that the max cool vote is 10. So businesses with 10 cool votes have the highest number of cool votes uh, across compared to all of the other business in the data set. This will be our subquery. So the next thing is to use an inner join to filter out businesses that don't have the max number of cool votes or conversely filter businesses that actually match uh, 10 cool votes. So I'll implement the inner join just like this. The inner join, as I mentioned, will be the subquery. I'm going to alias the subquery table with MC. Just like that. So now to complete the inner join, we'll just specify the keys. So what we want to do is join on basically the, the amount of cool votes, right? So that in this case will be 10 here. We want to filter for businesses that have 10 cool votes, right? So Yelp reviews, cool is the column. And then in this um, MC, the subquery table, max cool is the value 10 here, and that's uh, how we're gonna be filtering out businesses. So I have my join clause done, and all I wanna do now is display and output the, the business name, I believe, along with the review text, right? So I'll put the business name along with the review text. And I believe this is done. So if we run this line of code here, it 
we get two businesses and their review text. So I believe this is correct. If I go to check solution, it says my solution is correct. If we wanted to just double check everything, what I could also do is just output the number of cool votes. So that would be, that could be something like this. And then I see that the number of cool votes does in fact match uh, at 10. And the number of cool votes is in fact 10, which matches this max cool function here where I showed that the, that the output was 10. You know, it's a difficult question mainly because it's not obvious that you would want to use an inner join to filter out businesses, but because there are multiple businesses that could in fact have the same amount of max cool votes, you need to use an inner join so that you're filtering out businesses that don't match that criteria and just keeping the multiple businesses that do.